Makes me hungry every time I see it. I'm in the mood for a burger. I'm gonna have to have burgers tonight. Hey everybody, I'm Guy. This is Now That's Tasty. I'm gonna be with you uh, for this hour, and then we got another hour outside. I have the steel of the year in my second hour on the Ninja XL grill. Go check, go check the internet right now. Look at the price for the Ninja XL. We have the lower pr lowest price by $100. I'm buying it today. That's coming up in the second hour. First hour is all about yummy treats and delicious food. And let's take a look at today's menu. So, we got a little bit of everything today, okay? We're gonna start you off, we've got the most amazing coffee that comes from a wonderful company that actually helps benefit the manatees that we all love here in Florida. And the coffee is ridiculous, so good. Delicious, tasty, that's brand new. That's the HSM launch, first time on air. That's coming up in a little bit. We've got keto peanut butter cups, my favorite thing on the planet, uh, with Cheryl. She's coming up too. We've also got lobster mac and cheese. And take a look what I got over here. I don't want to step in front of the, oh, let me back up. Ah, oh, now I'm in the shot. Keep back, I, I'm tripping, I'll go this way. <laughs> Is it, what are you guys saying, I have a big head? I can't get out of the way. All right, these ribs are ridiculous, okay? I have them on auto ship. I don't have a lot to go around. They lowered the price by $10. It was, I think when we launched it, it was 119, it's down to 99. You're getting three full jumbo racks from KG Barbecue. It's award winning. This is not the crud that you buy at the supermarket, right? That's pre-sauced in a plastic bag, okay? This is real KG award winning barbecue. And look at how many racks you get, three jumbo racks. So keep them in the freezer, pull one out. You can heat it up in the oven. Or if you get the Ninja Grill in the next hour, you can heat it up on them as well. That is my pick, my big bite in the show, but let's get started. Because I get to work with Stacy Phillips, who I love. I've known Stacy for many, many years. You are an incredible foodie, like me. Yes. We love, we just, we love anything that's rich and delicious and tasty. And you know, when it comes to coffee, and you know how much I love coffee. Yes. I, you, I told you about my machine. Yes. I have a very expensive machine at the house. The Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy machine. <laughs> and I love, 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 love coffee. So really quickly, let me tell you about it. It's what they call high altitude. Whenever you buy coffee beans or harvest beans, higher altitude is always better. The conditions are better for growing 100% Arabica beans, which these are. They are roasted, all right? They are blended to perfection. This coffee is on another level. I always say, this is not coffee. It's, this is an experience. You like that, Cheryl? It's an experience. Stacy is with us to tell us all about yes. it. And I love the fact that when we buy the coffee, we kind of help the manatees. Oh my gosh, kind of. Yeah. That's what this is all about. So you're getting ready to try the Caribbean Delight. So if you like coffee and you like saving the manatees, this is a win-win, right? I'm on board. I'm on board too. This is what it's all about. This is called Caribbean Delight. The number one, Goodness. right? Stop it. The number one seller wow. for manatee coffee by far. So we have two choices. Yes. Tell everybody what we got. Okay, so you can get the Island Dark, which is that rich, bold, robust, deep color, deep flavor. Two big flavor. bags, yep. And then you also can get the Caribbean Delight. And that is um, it's so delicious. It's this got, has a little more of a flavor it, yes, to it, like it has, and I taste caramel. And hints of hazelnut oh my and coconut. But it's very mild, right? Doesn't it make you feel like you're kind of taking a trip to the tropics? It's so good. So delicious. It's very, I mean, you get the big, great, rich coffee taste. 100%. But then you get that kind of full-bodied flavor of, like that roasty, toasty caramel taste. Yes. That's the Caribbean delight. Everybody that orders are going to get two, uh, two bags of coffee. And let me tell you something. And I said this to you before. Yep. Coffee has gone through the roof in price. I, know. I used to buy a bag of coffee for $9 from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. My same bag of coffee is $16. Isn't that amazing? Same bag. Oh my goodness. So you're getting these bags at 11, about $11 per bag, which is a steal. And this is high-end gourmet coffee. And remember, 
There's a reason there's a manatee on there, because every time you buy it, the company itself is going to help out with the manatees, which I think is a wonderful thing. It is a wonderful yeah. thing. Whether you live in Florida or you've just maybe gone to um, uh, an aquarium and you've been able to experience manatees. Man, that's good. I mean, manatees are amazing. Living in Florida, you have had a manatee experience if you go by the water. I had one like tickle my toes one time oh, with all the time. whiskers. It's the cutest thing. Yeah. They come up to the docks. I mean, this company loves two things coffee and saving the manatees. And that's what this is all about. Do you know what tomorrow is? Manatee Appreciation Day. You is it just that. by accident that we're going on today talking about manatee coffee? Or you gotta, coincidence? You gotta try it. I, listen, whether or not you love manatees or not, the coffee is ridiculous. All right, you know, I'm a big coffee guy. You know, I had to cut back when I was dealing with some issues in my throat, but I still appreciate a fantastic cup of coffee. And this is, you know what, I'm, what I really love about it? What? Low acid. Yes. And not bitter. It's, you know I, why? I don't like bitter coffee. It's because it's handcrafted and also slow roasted. That is really important so you don't get that bitterness. Now, you've tasted the Caribbean Delight. Now, this is also the Caribbean Delight if you like iced coffee. Okay, so there's yeah. this option. Love iced coffee. Okay, so it's even good if you like to make it cold, uh, especially getting ready in Florida. We're talking about Florida, the hot weather. That's what you're going to want, even right? Better. Now, do you like wow. cream? In your coffee? Because this is the, the dark. I'll taste the dark without it. Okay. Because I can taste the coffee so a little cleaner. So this is the island dark. This is going to be a very bold, rich, so smooth. You can sort of see the difference. Well, I added cream Yeah, there's this. a little cream in there. But I even, added cream. But even when you first poured it, this has got a deeper sort of a, uh, you're going to see more of a kind of chocolatey taste yes, to this coffee. Yes, I can coffee. show you what the comparison yeah. is. So just a little bit lighter. But if you like a flavored coffee, Dang, you're going to see so good. So robust, And I don't right? normally drink black coffee. That's really good. And that's actually so I would say richer and deeper. In if you're a coffee, coffee person, you might like the dark. There's if a you're a casual coffee, side yeah. Side by side. Yeah. Can you see a difference in yep. the color there? Just Coming a close. little bit, right? So this is bold and rich if you like the Colombian um, the dark crema. coffee. Yeah. That's what I drink every day. And then if I want a treat or it's something in the afternoon, I like the Caribbean Delight. But again, the Caribbean Delight is the number one. So people really, really Man. love this. Now you may be saying, well, what makes this coffee so great, right? Well, it really does depend on where the coffee comes from. So we choose places around the world that have high altitudes, um, rich, dense, soil because that's where you're going to get the nutrients from the soil right tropical climates so predominantly brazil and colombia yeah. then we import the beans again handcrafted slow roasted which is again crucial so that you don't have yeah. that bitterness and have you ever had an upset upset stomach yeah. from coffee oh, yeah okay you're not going to get that with this because no. of the way that it's brewed so that is really really crucial i always liked what coffee kind of gets me going on in the morning I mean, that's, let's be honest. We love coffee, right? Get your, get your motor running. Sure. Here's another thing I love. Cheryl's laughing at me over here. <laughs> Here's another thing. I get excited when I get to try new coffee. Yes. Like, new coffee to me is like, like you know, just trying a new experience. And if you're a coffee lover, you got to try this. Mm -hmm. it, and honestly, it tastes different than any other coffee that I've, ta I've had here. And we do the little pods. Yes, you can do that. And those are all flavored, but nothing beats just a pure roasted great flavor of coffee. It, it, absolutely. And you may be thinking, well, does, is this going to work in my K-cup? Have you ever um, realized that you can actually buy these yeah. washable K-cups? So what you do is you take either the Caribbean Delight or the Dark Roast. You can use a spoon or you can just kind of be a little bit like me and wing it. And then you put it in the K-cup, okay? Then you put it in your machine and this is the dark brew. And you put it in your machine and you can use your ground coffee in your K-cup machine. And you are absolutely going to still experience the richness and the depth of this coffee uh, time and time again, regardless of how you choose to brew. I'm hooked on this Caribbean delight. I know, isn't that so yummy? It's and just, yeah, go ahead. You, you want, want to hit the, me? Oh, yeah, really? Go okay. Go you ahead. know what else I, oh, come on now. Oh, That's not a good sign. On? That's not it's all right, hold on. Let me smell it first. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. Come on, <laughs> nah, it's man. Fine. It petered out on oh, it. Oh, it did. It's, you know what? you got to love live TV. That is. I tried. No, that is delicious. <laughs> I, I put more cream in it just because I like it that way. I'm going to hide that Hey, listen, one. whether you like black coffee or coffee with cream or coffee with yeah. your favorite liqueur, the bottom line is you need to start out with good coffee. 
Yes. And, and you always look for 100% Arabica beans. You prefer your beans to come from high altitude just because the soil is better, yep. um, which is why when you watch on the native people picking coffee beans, they're way up on top of a mountain somewhere, right? That's where the best coffee grows. The conditions are best for it. That's where all this coffee is grown. It is very low acid. So if you have issues with your stomach, that's gonna be great for you as well. And there's no bitterness. Everybody gets two jumbo bags. Choose Caribbean Delight. I, could, I tell you, I couldn't tell which one I like better. Um, or you can go the original dark roast. Everybody gets two bags, we'll ship them right out. Hey, uh, Rick, do we have this available on auto ship too? Okay, if you want auto ship, you need to sign up because I only have a few dozen of those to go around. So grab it while you can. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Great job. I hope everybody enjoys this. And you know, think about it as you're going to drink coffee anyway. So you want to get a really good coffee and then Take care save the manatees. It's coffee with have a you, cause. Has anybody ever right? seen you a manatee? You're going to love that. Like oh. I, I've, I'm sure you have, Cheryl, because she's a, she's a Florida girl. Yeah. I have kayaked over at DeSoto. They come right up to your kayak. I know. And you just give them like a piece of lettuce. And they just take it right out. They're the most harmless creatures, yet they're always run over by boats. They're always, you know, their, their um, habitat gets messed up. So you're doing the right thing. Thank it's you. Supporting the manatees on Manatee Appreciation Day tomorrow. Man, that's great. Buy some coffee and support manatee. the manatees. It's a win-win. I wonder if there's ever going to be a guy at Peel Van Appreciation Day. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Every, every day. All right, every day. All right. So we're gonna shift, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of go along the same thing of, of very, very, very intense, wonderful flavor. But before we get to that, people are already buying the ninja. Rick is my producer today. Rick, did you see the price? So I was talking to the folks back in the back. Let's just say that, and they said this is not supposed to happen. But for whatever reason. We have this at $309. If you go on any website and look at the XL 4-in-1, it's $429. We are $100 and then some off. What does it do? It'll grill anything, burgers, steaks, fish. If you like to smoke your salmon, or if you like ribs and you want to smoke that or brisket, you can do that. You could put two jumbo racks of ribs on it because this is the larger size. It has a little sleeve where you put the wood pellets and we give you some. It heats the wood pellets, pellets up. So now you can use it to smoke pork, salmon, a mullet, whatever it is. We eat a lot of smoked mullet down here. Um, it's all electric, so you don't have any propane. No charcoal mess, yet you get charcoal flavor. I have four colors to choose from. I am buying one after the show. And Rick, we also have the stands available too. I'm gonna buy a stand. So the money you're saving over $100, you can buy the stand to get it up off the ground so you don't have to put it on a table. That's coming up in a bit. All right, my best buddy ever, Cheryl Boyle is with me. She was my best buddy even before she brought me the peanut butter cups. But here's what I'll tell you. How many of you out there love the classic peanut butter cup. Y'all do. Don't pretend you don't. Frozen out of the freezer. Fantastic. How many of you like the little minty treats? You know the ones that have chocolate on the outside and mint? Well, no sugar keto cups to the rescue. These have zero sugar. You would never ever know that to taste them. The peanut butter cups, and I blame it on the peanut butter. The cups are great, all right? They're sugar-free. The peanut butter is so heavenly. It's a hundred times better than the peanut butter that's in the classic one, I think. Oh, it it's is. creamier. I agree. It's not gritty. It's super sweet, but not with sugar. So we used to offer this in a 30-pack, all right? We said, you know what? So many people are buying it. Let's do the 60-pack. So what you're going to get, and you have your choice, you can get all peanut butter cup, and you get five boxes with 12 in each. That's 60. Or you can get the fudgy mint, where you'll get two boxes of 30. I'm doing it right. <laughs> That's right. But the most popular is the combo, where you're going to get 15 of the mint, excuse me for reaching yeah. in front of you, uh, 15 peanut butter. of the peanut butter, mm -hmm. and then you get 30 of the fudge brownie. That's right. These are on sale, $34.95. By the way, did I mention everything in the show is free shipping? Ooh. If you need a fix after lunch, after work, at, after anything, you need to try these. And the peanut butter is to die for. They're all good. They're amazing. But the peanut Cheryl. butter. Go. Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Cheryl. The peanut <laughs> butter is undoubtedly, if you're a peanut butter person, it is a ready, set, go. 
the no sugar keto company they really knocked it out of the park with these i am that person who needs that little bit of something sweet like that little bit of something sweet after a meal these do it 70 it calories out. one net carb zero sugar this is this is this is this is the best stuff. It is. That, that cream, creaminess. The cream that's inside so good. is so good. And then look at the lacquer on top. You know it's well-made chocolate. Mm. Um, and they use an incredible sweetener in here that leaves zero aftertaste. Absolutely. It's clean. You will never know they don't have sugar in them. Stock up now. I, I about once a month I buy the peanut butter because I'm like, Danny eats them like Tic Tacs. They, they pops them in his mouth. Well, you have, there's no guilt. There's absolutely no guilt. And there's no way you, I mean, so good. I don't know about you, but I'm that person who needs that little something mm. sweet mm. right after a meal, or you kind of have a hankering, or you're in the car and you're reaching for something. This has zero guilt. The treat without the cheat. 70 calories, one net carb, zero sugar, but they are so creamy and delicious. You will not know that they have no sugar in them. And we actually use coconut oil, so that is that creaminess. You're not gonna take that dip down because it doesn't have sugar in it. So you're not gonna chase that high all day long. Read the ingredients on the famous cups. Oh. And you're gonna see, <laughs> well here's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see hydrogenated oils. Yeah, oh yes you worst are. Worst thing you can put in your body, and listen, I'm not poo-pooing. balance. I'm not poo-pooing them. I eat a thousand of those things every Halloween. I know. But when That's... you're as old as I am, oh, please. she's young. We're the same age. Yeah. When you're as old as me, you can't just throw a peanut butter cup in a couple times a day. This. No, but now you can. Talk to me about calories. 70 calories, one net carb, zero sugar. Gluten-free. So if there's people out there that are, are gluten intolerant, these are great for you. Gluten-free, keto-friendly, but you don't need to be keto. I always tell people, this is just a better choice. Yeah. It's one better choice, and over time, it makes a huge difference. But you're not sacrificing the flavor. They're so delicious and creamy. You're not gonna know. Trust me, take them out of the wrapper. I love yeah. that they're individually wrapped, but take them out of the wrapper, put them in a candy jar, nobody's gonna know. They're what does it know. is that the chocolate is, it's not a dark, like what you would think of as a dark chocolate. Not bitter. No. It's almost like if you took dark and milk and you mixed it together. Correct. But what makes it so good is when you bite through and you get into the filling, whether it's mint or fudge, or in this case, peanut butter, the peanut butter is supercharged with sweetness and not bad. No, In it's a good perfect. way. And that's what gives the chocolate Agreed. That, that little extra kick. So here's how they come. And you saw in the little foil packages, you're going to get five boxes for $34. I mean, five boxes will probably last you a couple of months. Maybe. Me, me. <laughs> I eat them, I don't all, know I eat them every day, but yes, those should last you a really long time. I mean, if you eat one every day, which trust me, you're going to fall in love with these. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I keep licking the product that I'm showing to camera because it's that good. I promise you. Mm. I'm the person who eats these every single day. They're delicious. These are the mint. I just want to show you the ratio of filling to chocolate. Again, these are made with coconut oil. That's the creaminess. The erythritol we use, which is found naturally in grape so pears good. and watermelons. No aftertaste. I understand people's first hesitation is, Cheryl, but it has no sugar. Does it have that coinly sweet? It doesn't. Mm -mm. These no sugar keto cups are so delicious. They melt in your mouth. Let them melt, trust me. You will take that wrapper, turn it inside out, and what I do, and you yeah. will lick it. Well, I promise oh, you. no doubt. <laughs> and, and by the way, we don't get to do these all year because these are real chocolate. We can't ship them Correct. when it gets warm. So right now is the time to stock up. If you want peanut butter, it's going to be the first to sell out. Most popular always in the combo pack. If you've never tried it, ever tried it before, get it because you get that dark, the dark fudgy one, which is incredible. I love the mint because it reminds me of the little Andy's yep. treats from years ago. Yep. And those are great. They're delicious. But again, full of sugar. Correct. So, and if you want to know the, the comparison, you can eat probably 16 of these versus one traditional That's peanut butter That's probably cup, true. Right? Yes, for sure. And, and you're getting that spike. That's sugar that nobody wants because then you feel like crap afterwards. Right, because then you crash. So that's why people chase the sugar high all day yeah. long, right? So they have a little bit of sugar and then they're like, ooh, I'm down again. I need a little bit more sugar, but not with these no sugar keto cups, right? So because there's no sugar, because it's got that coconut oil, you're going to feel satiated. I promise. I know it's a, it's a weird thing to think about, but you're going to feel like, oh, that was perfect. It hit the spot. Brilliant. Now, this, this is the fudge brownie I wanted to show you. This is the one I put at the bottom of my coffee, and with that manatee coffee we just had on there, yeah. that would be a brilliant mocha coffee to have. If you like hot chocolate, 
Right? It's like a truffle. And you want it like, because yes. you know, I, I, the only, I drink decaf coffee now with almond milk. I don't even put water in it. Oh. Like, I, I put the almond milk in the microwave. Oh, And then smart. I use the crystals. Yeah, because they're telling me I can't have caffeine. So I do that. Oh. You could take one of these things and put it in like a cup of hot almond milk. Oh. And now you're low carb. Right. You're getting that hot chocolate. 70 calories. That's, you have a hot chocolate that tastes absolutely listen, decadent and delicious hey, for 70 calories. I'm not telling you, and, and Cheryl <laughs> says the same thing. It's about choices. You're not gonna live like this throughout your entire life. I mean, I got, I got ribs coming up. Yeah, they're loaded oh, with fat and yumminess. I got lobster mac and cheese. That's where I'm gonna indulge. But the, the and, and the good thing about those two items, that's real pork and that's real lobster. You don't know what's going in the candies that you eat. No. I will tell you, I know one thing, it's sugar. And a it's, bunch of things you can't pronounce. Yeah, stabilizers, <laughs> look, that's what they do. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a bad, you're Milkshake. Just so, making a milkshake. Shit. Now you can, I mean, I like to repurpose my things because I feel like when you find something that tastes this delicious, yeah. why not? And this is actually a protein shake. So you can add your favorite protein powder, a little bit of milk, um, and your and your uh, keto cup. So this has two keto cups in there. You can put three. Again, 70 calories, one net carb, and zero sugar. Just, would you use almond milk? Uh, this is almond milk, yeah, yes. So Think about what a regular milkshake has in it. And don't get me wrong, <laughs> I go to an ice cream place on the weekend and I want to have a milkshake, I'll do it. But when I'm home, it's like to put, it, now you're, yeah, I know it's ridiculous. That's so good. This is such a guilt-free treat. 70 calories, one net carb. Could, that is a delicious. You could give this to anybody. They would and not they think, They'll think you got it. At Correct. the Golden Arches. Correct. Or they'll, they'll think it's this is like a great fast food milkshake, it, but it doesn't have all the crud in exactly. it. Exactly. It's so it's delicious, delicious and so creamy. And look, again, the, the fudge brownie is like your rich dark chocolate truffle. Mm. The mint is like your favorite mint. Can't, I grew up on those mint patties. My father used to keep them in the freezer. That's what I do yeah. with my mint. And then the peanut butter cup. And I'm telling you, it's great for children because sometimes we need to cut back on sugar. Yeah. Give and, it to them. And if you've not had those treats since you were a kid, because you know they're full of sugar. Mm -hmm. This this is like a whole new world opens up again. Oh. It's like, I can have peanut butter cups. <laughs> I can have the peppermint. You yes, know what the peppermint yes, thing yes. is. I can have those again without having to feel guilty about it. One net carb, mm. zero sugar. All right, I have to update so everybody. Good. Rick, how many on the combo? Mm. 120 sets of the combo left. Remember, combo gives you all three flavors. Correct. If you want to get the others, I only have a little bit more. The peanut butter is outselling all the others. If you've never tried these before, I would say go with the peanut butter. Definitely. If yeah. you're a peanut butter person, go with the peanut Are butter. Are there people that aren't peanut butter I don't people? know. I don't know you. If you're I, <laughs> how can you not like but peanut some, butter? Some people, maybe they want, like, maybe they want mint. It's I don't like, know. It's like mayonnaise. I'm like, oh. I, but I know a lot. Like, I could eat mayonnaise out of the jar. I'm telling you, no one would know. <laughs> no one would know no, that no. that doesn't have sugar in it. They're so rich yeah, they and are. creamy. They are. I mean, I, where's peanut butter here? Up front? This is peanut butter. These are all right your here. peanut butters. Everyone that you split open, and I'll do it again. I'm gonna it's do it. It's that rich, creamy I bite it first with my peanut teeth. butter. But every time you open it up, the peanut butter that's inside that pole. is unbelievable. <laughs> it is so ridiculously creamy. Mm. It's not like the peanut butter in the peanut butter cup that you're used to. No. It is, this is almost like, it almost has like a peanut, peanut butter icing taste to it. Like it's that melty. Oh, you know, like true. really good icing yeah. made with butter yeah. melts in your mouth. Because this is, this is Ooh, coconut oil based. That gives me a great idea. Yeah, you. I could melt this down and top like a, like a, a note sugar-free yeah. ice cream and yeah. have like this delicious dark chocolate I'm telling you, you can use these for so many things because once you find something that mm. is delicious and guilt-free, you can melt it down, you put know, it in your coffee, put it in a hot chocolate. You know what I like? We're almost out of time. You know what I like, too, about these? When I'm done, I don't have that sugary coating in my mouth. Nope. Because I don't like that. Yeah. And remember, we all know what sugar, and don't get me wrong, I know there's sugar, natural sugars in lots of things. Of course. It's really the added sugar we don't want, because we, fruits and vegetables all have sugar. The problem with sugar is, in case you don't know, sugar feeds bad things. It feeds disease. It feeds, when you're making beer, you put a malt in there, a malted type of, of, of malted barley, which is sugary. And what does it do? It 
the, the yeast eats it up and it Ex percolates. Exactly. That's what it does. It makes so everything grow. It makes everything grow. <laughs> and if you have bad, and I'll use the word flora, uh -huh. you don't want to eat a lot of sugar, any of that stuff. You want to be careful with it. All right. That's right. We are crazy busy. Thank you. Last call on the combo, peanut butter, fudge, or that beautiful mint. You can't go wrong. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Good job. Thank Love you. you. All right. What am I doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Rick says, read the prompter. No, I'm not reading the prompter. This is just coming off my head. All right, known for its iconic best-selling products like Good Gene, CEO Vitamin C Serum, and Luna, Sunday Riley products are loved globally by celebrities, makeup artists, editors, uh, for their transformative ingredients. Sunday Riley brings HSN exclusive configurations and sale prices, including the six-piece travel set and the power couple set. Both sets are a great way to try the best sellers uh, from Sunday Riley, or you can stock up on all your favorites. All HSN, or at HSN, all Sunday Riley products ship for free. Fantastic. All right, where's my buddy Stephanie Roberts? Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Oh, good. I just bought the sampler of the cups. Th they're so good. <laughs> I know, they're so good. I mean, I love doing the show because I love all the food. George is coming up with the lobster mac and cheese, which is one of my favorites. I got ribs from KG Barbecue. Right now, we're going to talk about soup. And this is a company, Ready Wise Simply Kitchen. Yes, right? Simple Kitchen by Ready Wise. By Ready Wise. So this company basically, you know, makes its bones by developing incredible food that you can use traditionally in an emergency. Exactly. Right? Power goes out, you don't have, uh, you know, stores are closed. What are you gonna eat? Well, they do this better than anybody else. And this is what we call their, uh, I basically call it their soup buffet. It is Simple Kitchen's 64 serving of the most yummy, satisfying soups you've ever had. What they do is they dehydrate and take out the water, okay? Why pay for water? Exactly. Why pay for the bulk of storing it? Not only that, when soup sits in a can, the noodles, the beef, whatever's in there, turns to mush. They get gunky. 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 You are making fresh soup, and let me tell you something. This soup is kick butt. It is, and soup it is, is a lot so of work. good. Right, and so we get 64 servings. Um, I can save this in my cupboard how long? Three years. Three years. Three years. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. Okay. To, to Guy's point, Ready Wise is known for longer lasting food, food with a good shelf life. How does that work? Well, it has a lot to do with this pouch you see right here. This is the magic pouch, as we call it. This seals out uh, the oxygen, the moisture, things that make food go bad. So with Simple Kitchen, Ready Wise has taken top of the line vegetables, top of the line proteins, pastas, rices, grains, beans, anything that you might want and preserved it in their magic scientific pouch so that you can enjoy it for up to three years. Now, what I like so much about this is that, listen, I'm a busy working mom. Soup is the best thing ever as, a, as a base too. Yeah. So I can go home on a night like tonight when I'm going to get home right at dinner time. I can grab a pouch of the chicken noodle soup, the chili, whatever it is you want, and give you great tasting food in a matter of minutes. Let's go through the flavors. Okay. You want to do that? Absolutely. So you're getting on over. eight yeah. pouches, each of eight servings. So eight times eight is 64 So one pouch servings. serves eight people. It does. Eight wow. cups of water is what you're going to add. Why would you pay so to ship water? Why would you pay to have to buy right. water when you can just have it like this and you're going to reconstitute it? So you are getting two chicken noodles, the okay. ultimate comfort. I want to try that. Yeah. Two hearty chilies and oh by the way and I really like this the chilies vegetarian it's made with just beans if you want to add beef add beef yeah, but if you've got in someone in your family that doesn't want the meat it is not in there already I think that's a great point which one's this and one? then you've got four different ones that you're going to get one each of you are getting a vegetable beef again you can always add more of any of the ingredients you're also getting a hearty tortilla that is personally oh, my favorite is it good? oh I love tortilla I want to try soup. as many as you've got just ready a little bit of kick yeah. the minestrone and then you're getting the creamy potato guys free shipping and handling 39.95 for 64 cups of soup what is that 40, 40 45 cents a cup crazy all right which can i try oh you can try absolutely everything whoa we are oh, hot we're boiling, here we're boiling. we are boiling 
and we are boiling over. Turn, Turn that, that baby, baby off. off. Right. <laughs> we go from zero to very hot very quickly. <laughs> all right, so again, all I did was add eight cups of water, right? Yeah. And the soup reconstitutes itself. I'm going to have you try the one that wasn't boiling, right? So we save your tongue. Is this, can I try this yes, in here? Yes, you may. That one all is right. fresh I want you made. to look. So we put some jalapenos, some cilantro yep. over here. And I'm gonna grab this one and you'll just kind of see how it's gonna look right there when you put all the stuff on it. All right, I'm excited. Now it's had a, this one's also had a chance to thicken up a little bit. Yep. So that makes I want to get a little of the sour cream in there too. All right, there you go. And I want to hear about the quality of the ingredients, the texture. It's phenomenal. Isn't that wonderful? But a good chili on the stove. I how, make chili. How long does it take you? Hours. Yes. My chili, actually my chili takes all day. I don't know, you may not have all day. You might you not have power have in your house. Maybe you got a little, a little um, propane burner or your gas grill, and you want to heat up some water. Do it. This is fantastic. Absolutely. So then you start to think about all the different ways you could mm. use that. For me, it's a Tuesday night when I'm working, right? This is an amazing is dinner to give my family. This is the chicken noodle. Now, we added a little extra chicken on top. You know why? Because I made chicken over the weekend, and I had it. This is where you throw in this. any little extras. Look from the top. Doesn't that look yummy? I want everybody to see the noodles and how chunky this. Look at this. You got rotini in there. You got veggies. There's carrots. All that is in there. Here we go. Again, tell me about the texture. Any the mush? Noodles are not mushy. Yes, and that's so key. They're still, they still, they're all dente. Yes, which is if what you want. If you bought want. soup in a can, it would be mush. Yeah. You know it. And don't get me wrong. When I was a kid, you know, I'd trade whatever for a, for a can of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> but you're a kid. And you never <laughs> see how much sugar and crud yeah. is in a lot of the canned food. And don't get me wrong. Like I said, I love SpaghettiOs, but that's not, that's food that's, that's been sitting in a can. Exactly. For Lord knows how long. And again, this pouch is why the texture is so good. The that's vegetables so good. have a little bit of pop, right? Yeah. A little bit of crunch. Because we're able to freeze dry them at the peak of freshness. So you're getting every bit of nutrition you have ever wanted in your minestrone soup. You are getting, there's the chicken tortilla. Go into that one. Right, yeah, because the flavor in that one is what gets me. These are carefully spiced to be exactly what you would expect for the name. Chicken Chicken tortillas got a little bit of kick. There it is. I love the avocado in there. Put a little wedge of lime in there. Exactly. All right, here we go. You can do as little or as much with these as you want. That's awesome. See why that's my favorite? And that is not altogether that easy to I make. I a little hot sauce on there, yeah, too. Yeah, well, you put yeah, hot yeah. sauce on everything. I know, I know that about you. I know that about you. 64 servings for 30 what? 39.95. Even if you're just in a pinch and you want to make soup. First, somebody's not feeling well. One bag makes eight cups of soup. Think about, because a regular can of soup is it's what? Two, two it's, servings. But it's two servings, yes, right? it's two servings. Maybe two cups, cup and a half. Exactly. And this you make fresh. You still feel like you're making soup. And there's <clears throat> no difference in the taste. Let me tell I you, mean... I will tell you this. All right, I'll tell you something. And this is it. I was in the restaurant business 18, 20 years. Northern Italian, I did sports bars, I did Irish bars, I did all that stuff. You wanna know how I could tell a chef was good? Taste their soup. Taste their soup. Yep. If a chef can't make a soup, it's not easy to make. Soup is hard. You gotta make the stock, you gotta know how to season it, you don't wanna put too much salt, you gotta use fresh ingredients. A lot of prep time. A lot of prep time. A lot time. of prep time. We used to do a seafood chowder. It was the hardest thing my chef had to make. Yep. He's like, it takes two and a half hours to make it. <laughs> This is two and a half minutes at the most, instant. You just gotta wait. If you're putting noodles in there, you gotta wait until they reconstitute. Exactly. But if you, so they if, cook if you for have between hot water, ten and twenty minutes, yeah. depending on the soup. Um, this one is gonna be very hot, but this you should try. This is the potato, the cream of potato. Another very good test because I, imagine reconstituting both potato well, and cream in the and same I, pot. I will eat cold potato soup because that's vichy Oh well, of course. Vichy I think I said that you right. just made that very fancy for Simple so Kitchen, good. but that is okay. Again, add more potatoes. Is that one your favorite? That's, the chicken noodle was wonderful. The, okay. the chili was good. This is fantastic. Yep. Like, and I love that you put bacon and scallions. Something. You can put well, a little something. You made it like a baked potato. Absolutely. Well, think about this when you go to a restaurant ridiculous. and you order a bowl of soup, because I'll be like honest, Bichuswa. I eat soup a lot mm. at restaurants because I'm trying maybe not to eat a full meal. Delicious. You'll pay $10 for a bowl of soup at a restaurant. 
and I get it, a lot of ingredients, a lot of chef time. You don't have to. This is restaurant quality sealed in a pouch a so that you have it. A cup of my seafood chatter at yep. a restaurant called Tommy's. Okay. Was six ninety five in nineteen eighty nine. <laughs> Seven dollars. It had shrimp and scallops and clam. It had all good stuff. The point is. You're getting this for, what did we figure out, Stephanie? It's gotta be like 40 or 50 cents a cup of soup. Absolutely. If you're on a budget and you just wanna stretch, if you're an empty nester and you want the taste of homemade soup. And by the way, I love, with Stephanie, you know what I love too about it? You can jazz it up any way you want. You can do whatever you want. Heat, spice, when cheese, When you look in whatever. this bowl, I see rice, I see beans, I see vegetables. If I wanted to see beef and sausage and all of that, I could add that too. Again, some are gluten-free, some are vegetarian. You have so many different options that you can do with these soups. But start with a good base. Make your life easier and know that your ingredients <clears throat> are simple and good. That's why I all like right. this. Use Express ordering. Oh. We are very busy. Everybody's like, 39 bucks for 60 cups of soup, and it's good. It's so it's good. It's really good. It's oh, so and if good. you're a camper or a boater, oh, tailgating, you, tailgate, tailgating, the soup. take it on the road. All right. Summer camping. 076788. You and I, can, can I talk really quickly for two seconds, Rick, about what's coming up in the next hour? Because you're the guest. We're going to be busy. You and I had a little chat before the show. <laughs> yes, we did. I went on every website I could find. Mm -hmm. She has the ninja. Four in one smoker, grill, everything. With free, it's free shipping too. Free I think shipping, it, it free, absolutely. It's free shipping online. It is a hundred dollars off any price I could find. I'm buying it. <laughs> I'm buying it today. If you've always wanted a Ninja, we have the lowest price anywhere in the country. All right. We are getting ready outside. We got ribs out there, chicken. We got so much food. Three oh nine. Crazy. Write, it, write it down. Crazy. It's got to be the XL. That's the bigger one. You're saving 26 bucks with free shipping. I believe it. Today's the day to buy that. Today is the day. And it will sell out eventually. I don't know how we got that deal. <laughs> we, we won't talk about it. Yeah, we won't because you're never going to see it again. Let's right. just say that. Thank you, love. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Hey, you know, we got a secret sale going on. Have you heard about that? Excuse me, uh, soup. Um, the secret sale is on all your favorite crafting brands. All you need to do is know the secret phase, phrase, which is make it all. Make it all. You get an additional 40% off uh, crafts. All you have to do is go to hsn.com and type in the phrase, make it all, into the search bar, and you can reveal our secret sa sale. But you gotta do it quick, because all these deals are just a very short, limited time. All right, come on over. It's mac and cheese time. Mac and cheese, then ribs. There's Carrie. Mac and cheese, then ribs. All right. So this is a company called New Point Lobster Company. These guys are up in Maine. They harvest the lobster fresh. I am telling you, the lobster is incredible. The macaroni and cheese has to stand up to it. It's some of the best macaroni and cheese I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. um, it's finally back, it's here. It is now at the lowest price that we've ever done. All right, and you are getting jumbo, delicious chunks of lobster, and you're getting them, it's flash frozen. Flash frozen. All you gotta do is pop it in the oven, and you can have lobster mac and cheese like they serve in the restaurant. George Vricos, my good friend is here. George, do we have, which sizes do we have today? We have all three sizes. All right. We so, have all three sizes today. And I'll tell you, one of the things that's so exciting is that we're backed by popular demand, okay? okay. And the reason we're backed by, go ahead, you go ahead, you do your part, I'll yeah. do my part. No, I was gonna say, so we have the one pound tray, mm -hmm. we have the one pound 10 ounce tray, and then we have the 40 ounce tray which is the jumbo one. Jumbo. It's loaded with lobster. When's the last time you had lobster? You go to, you go to a restaurant, you get a side, of lobster, mac, a side of, of lobster mac and cheese, it's $21.95 for a little tiny side. You're getting up to 40 ounces of the stuff, George. And it is, you're getting a half pound of lobster in the jumbo. That's a half, half pound, a pound. Half a pound of Maine lobster. Now the beauty about, and one of the things I'm so excited about being back is yeah. at New Point Lobster Company, okay? We use only the highest quality sourced, lo sourced lobsters. And then once we get the lobsters, we hand pick every bit of meat out of it. So you're not getting shells. You're not getting those, oh the, I, I know those. <laughs> you're not getting any cartilage. You're getting just pure, sweet, main lobster meat. So I just, oh, that rhymes. it doesn't matter where you break in. No, I'll just, anywhere. <laughs> I'll break in, I'll wait to get the shot of mine. Wherever you break in, you're gonna see chunks of lobster, okay? I mean, We've spread them out into little ramekins, so if you this. wanna do like a first side dish. Look, look at, at the, the first, the first spoon, uh, fork. I'm just so excited. Look at mine, look at this. 
There's Cheers. mine. Can Cheers. you see mine? There's mine. Look at, get it close to yeah. George's. And, and by the way, the macaroni and cheese is delicious as well. Mm -hmm. You get big chunks of knuckle and claw, which is the sweetest meat. Yes, it is. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm. Five cheeses. That's that creaminess you taste. You have provolone. So good. You have Jeez. Parmesan cheddar. You have mozzarella. And the one that always gets me is, is the mascarpone cheese. That gives it that little sweetness that... Actually, hand me one of those plates over there, guy. Okay, bro. And the mascarpone cheese to me is just really kicks it up. Look at the chunks. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Everywhere you look. Wait, can we get all I did was just dump it out? Yeah. Can we get a shot of this right here? That's not see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look all at we did was just dump this out. There's and this is the this is the small one. I would dump the large one out, but we don't have a plate big enough. And they do a half a pound. Half a pound one. of 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 main lobster claw and knuckle meat. Okay, highest quality sourced, hand-picked meat. It's, it, it is, it's amazing. This is one of those presentations where I, I don't do a lot of talking. <laughs> that's, I know, that's why I like doing this one with you. I get to talk more. You get to talk. Now listen, we also have, we also have the holidays coming up. Easter's coming up, you have oh family gosh. over. You can, you can repurpose this in so many different ways. You could use it as a side if you want to do like a, you know, like a surf and turf. Excellent for the family. If you want to pass some appetizer around, look, these beautiful little, yeah. little uh, cups of lobster. Yeah. Eat that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh. you know, and by the way, it's a, a sustain, sustainably sourced mm -hmm. from Maine. Yeah. And there's something about Maine lobster. This is not Caribbean lobster, no. which can be rubbery, can be gritty. Yes. This is the Northern Atlantic lobster, which is the only kind you really should get. It is. Get. Like, guy, down here and in the Caribbean, we really yeah. don't get... Main lobster, which are gonna, what is called the spiny lobsters. They don't yeah. have the big claws, okay? Not the claws like this. And for a lack of a better phrase, spiny lobsters are like overgrown or shrimp on steroids. This is sweet, right. tender, just lovely, lovely lobster. And when I say we hand pick all of the meat out of so every good. one of these lobsters we get, yeah. and that's why you get that extra love. That's the beauty about New Point, uh, New Point Lobster Company. Yeah. Family owned and operated, American company. Yeah. Everything they do, they do. They're really setting the standard for the lobster industry. You know, I, I said to you last time, I, I love this for like my mom. Uh -huh. My mom, whenever I go over there, yeah. she'll, put, she'll give me a little guilt trip and she'll be like, I can't remember last time I had a filet mignon. Because <laughs> she's on a fixed budget, all that stuff. My brother, my older brother does all her finances. Or she'll say, you know, remember when we were kids, we were younger and we take and we do lobster cookouts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now my mom is 91 years old. God bless she's her. not going to boil up lobsters and pick it and pick all the lobster meat out. But, and if you're in the same position where you're like, I haven't had lobster in so long, you need to try this, okay? Mm -hmm. Buy, just get the sampler. It starts at 57. I, I like the jumbo because I think you get the most lobster, but try it out. And remember, it's not just the lobster, the macaroni, the five cheese recipe. Oh. You can see just by looking at it, it's loaded with cheese. And now, look at that. heating it up in the oven, that's oh, it. Yeah, just, all you gotta do is, you wanna throw, it's gonna come flash frozen, just set it out the night before, let it thaw, throw it in the oven, 375 for about a half hour. Every oven's a little different, so you just wanna just make sure we're done all the way through. But it, it's, a, it's a really, an amazing mm. entree or side that says, basically, set it and forget it. The work is done for you at New Point Lobster with Mike and all of his stuff. Let's not eat, let's not eat all of it. Hey, do you want to share some, maybe? Kerry. Mm. Let's try it. Kerry, Kerry. 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 I could, we couldn't do it without. Let me get her. Get me with the lobster. Uh, of Come course. Here. Go ahead. You can go anywhere you want. Last time I took a whole thing. It was <laughs> wonderful. I ate it all. Now oh, my God. Back by popular demand. They are, they are flying. We're getting bigger. We've done what thir three shows right. in a row. So good. Lobster New Point. Uh, so lobster good. New Point. Isn't it? Just taste that creaminess. Mm. The cheeses. The chunks of lobster. It's the chunks of lobster yep. because you know ideally mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is right. You want that creaminess and it's there. But then it, it's like the flavor of that lobster because it's it's not just like small little pieces. No, no, right? no. You get a good you get a good what? chunk in there. So then it really like it's gigantic. explodes. And it, and it has a sweetness to it more that, more that more it complements. It's perfectly with the mac and cheese. Yeah. All right, if you want it, very limited on the jumbo. A lot of people are ordering that right away. Thank yes. you, Carrie, for coming in and eating lobster. <laughs> um, but here here's what I'll tell you. Listen, what I really 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 love about this from my standpoint, yeah. I'm once in a while I will go there's a seafood store. Okay. They're, they got lobsters over there. Yeah. Like $30 a pound. It is. I mean, it's crazy because the yield on that 
is maybe a half a pound of meat. Exactly. For thirty dollars. And the work. Don't forget your work. Here, that's the point is, by the time I cook them and pick them and get ready, mm -hmm. I'm not in the mood to eat it anymore. Exactly. I want it all done. Mm -hmm. and, and George, this is all ready to go right out of the container. Just heat it up. Guy, I got thirty plus years in the restaurant. Do you know what I would have to charge? For yeah. something like this, I would have to, I mean, I'd have to, it'd have to be a real well, niche type restaurant. This is not a, but believe it or not, this is not a meal that restaurants make a lot of money off of. No. Because they can't charge, you they, they want to charge $100. You can. But yeah, and the high-end ones do it. And they do, but they also take yeah. a lot of risk. If you, if something happens, if someone right. sends one back, okay, you're in the hall. All right. I always get sad when George leaves because I on, love man. this lobster mac. Hey, by the way, I love the idea of mixing in fresh spinach. Yes. That's delicious, too. All right, we're going to step away. When we come back, we got our big pick, and it's ribs. Thanks, Georgie. You got Good it, to brother. see you, buddy. Anytime. All right, be right back. Global Chic is all about fashion freedom. New fabrics, patterns, and soft silhouettes with spicy details. So be free. Iman Global Chic, only on HSN. We have a special offer for you. Take 15% off your next single item purchase when you sign up for HSN Tax. Plus, stay up to date on the latest promos and events. Love to save? Just tax HSN to 70514. Happy shopping. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. April is Customer Appreciation Month, and to kick it off, we're celebrating with a big 48-hour party just for you. Discover new arrivals and deals you don't want to miss, plus our first-ever epic appreciation pricing, all to say thank you. And join the Customer Appreciation Month launch party with Amy. Starts Monday at midnight on HSN. Tasty Show without my wonderful best buddy over here, Carrie. Carrie Mileto has been with us for years and years, although I know she still looks like she's 18 years old. Oh. Um, but she has a lot of experience in all kinds of things, especially when it comes to food and cooking. And I will tell you, she's helping us out with KG Barbecue. If you love ribs, and I'm talking about fall off the bone, deliciously juicy, competition winning ribs. These are not the ribs that are $25 a bag at the grocery store, which tastes awful. And with their ketchupy sauce. <laughs> this is competition, look at it, look at it. Competition them. ribs. And you are getting three oh, yeah. jumbo racks. Let me show, show you. Show the racks. They yeah, come, yeah. first of all, they come in a bag. I wanna show you. It's a lot of food, gang. So this is, and I order these. I'm on auto ship with these. Because I love ribs, mm -hmm. I don't like cooking them. Right. Because again, like with the lobster mac and cheese, by the time I'm done, I'm not hungry. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You get three jumbo bags. I'm gonna put oh this, God. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Just I'm just gonna put it underneath. Watch your feet. <laughs> this is how they turn out when you roast them in the oven. If you wanna finish them on the barbecue, I've got, a, I've got the four in one uh, uh, ninja coming up. These are amazing. I'm gonna hold them up and I want you to see how beautiful how that rack of ribs is, okay? Top and bottom, it is gorgeous. They are fully smoked, fully cooked. All you need to do, and if it's just two of you, I will tell you, one rack is plenty for two people. Okay. So you've got at least, right? You got at least six to eight meals oh, for $99.95. I used to go to a rib joint in Arizona called Tony Roma's, great place, right? Yeah, sure. Back then, and I'm talking 25 years ago, a rack of ribs was $25 at the oh, restaurant. Oh, yeah, easy peasy. You are, and that, this is real barbecue. All right, this is KG Barbecue with our buddy Brian Teeters. This stuff is amazing. Look at the smoke ring. Look, Look smoke at ring. the bark. All I can tell you is order as quickly as you can because I don't know. Rick, my producer, is keeping Look me posted. So I'm going to I'm gonna take a piece. Okay, I'm pulling. That was just the meat off the two sides of one. Have you ever gotten ribs, like, and only on one side did it have meat, and then it was, like, or, or hardly any, and it was very chewy? Um, this can happen if it's not done right. 
This is KG's Barbecue Killer Grillers. As you just said, it's Brian Teeters, JB Smith. So These good. are award winning ribs. Brian just sent me pictures, by the way, two days ago of him doing up the ribs. He says, I'm getting ready for competition season. Yeah, yeah, no. So here they are doing their thing. And what it's all about <laughs> is that low and slow method that they use, the right seasonings, the right cut of meat. As you can see, what you're getting here, these are ginormous racks. You're getting three racks, and each one's about two oh. pounds each. When you look at a rack of ribs, you can cut that up. If you're looking at these guys, we can cut that in about four. I mean, I, if I'm really hungry, I can eat a half yeah. rack of ribs. But if you're doing side dishes with it, you've got plenty to go around with these three racks. So I take the racks, I put them in the freezer. When you're ready to meat. use look them, the just pull just them. Falls apart. Look at this. And the look at that. Look at this. this and look at this. See the red color? Right there, that yep. reddish? That's smoke ring. Yep. These are slow smoked. And then they have a little bit of a char on the outside. You pull some of this off, have a side oh, of coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I mean, you will feel like you're at the best barbecue joint in town. We lowered the price. It's the lowest price we've done. It is. It's our weekly deal drop. It's free shipping. Listen. You need to try these. Now, Carrie, when you get them, they already have, they already have sauce. The sauce is inside, and we have extra sauce. So they're already sauced, right, because they've already mm. been cooked. But then there's extra sauce in the package. Now, look, I'm taking in between... Look at how much meat was in between just those two bones right there. And what you're looking at when you look at the bark, the bark's what's important. That's when we pull it from the grill. So you're looking at an up to 14 hour cook, yeah. which that low and slow is what's really important here, yeah, right? Because you want to get that perfect bark. And then, mm. as Brian says, he puts it to sleep. So he gives it a little, it puts it yeah. to bed, you know? And so they wrap it with the foil and let it continue cooking. Now, when you get it, this is a true heat and eat situation. So all you're gonna do, again, look at how I much is in here. Look at Single that. ship, I have 200. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that meat come off and what see how mean? clean those bones are? See, these are not like a St. Louis rib. A St. Right. Louis rib, Memphis. you want it to be a little chewier. You want it, you, you want it to be, oh when you gosh. bite it, you I want to see it. your teeth marks. Baby backs, you want that bone to fall out. You mm -hmm. want all meat. It's a leaner cut, believe it or not, than the St. Louis. Okay. All right? Okay. St. Louis got a little more fat on it. Okay. These are going quickly. All right, uh, we lowered sure. the price. It's free shipping. Oh, I just like to rip. I like to just rip them open. I know. I'm trying to cut it to oh, yes. make it neat, but forget it. No, okay, no. look. Watch when you Here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to pop this here because look, yeah. that's just me taking pieces. Look at this. Look inside. Look how beautiful. See that red color, and then watch how it just—it'll just, it'll just that's tear. The smoke rings. It just tears, just so like that. Comes up. If you've pieces. ever bought these, I used to buy some in the that store because I didn't want to go through all the work. Okay. And as Brian says, he does all the work for you. He's making this easy for you. If you want to put this on your grill, that's how we recommend that you heat this up. And it takes about five minutes on each side if you put it on your grill. Perfect, by the way. And people will smell it and be like, "Oh, what you doing?" And you can pretend like these are your ribs. That's totally fine. Brian did the work for you on purpose. But if you want to place this, this into the oven it's about 30 minutes okay and then it's that's it you these are heat meat so you don't have to do anything else and i love that about these so like look here this is just one rack that i've broken into pieces that's look how much food that is okay that's one of your three racks going across here. So when you're serving this, understand if you're doing side dishes, these are very meaty. So you can you can cut a rack into three or four, depending upon how many you're serving, and that's what it's gonna look like. You're getting three of these. I can't even believe it. You know, I, I have a smoker in my backyard, yeah. and I do ribs. Here's the process. First, I gotta get the smoker going. So I gotta yep. put the pellets in, yep. fill the tray with water. I gotta turn it on, get the gas going. The ribs. I have to take them out of the package because yep. I'll buy them in a big package, raw. I have to peel the silver skin off the back, all right, otherwise they're tough, which is hard to do. Then I rub them down with mustard. Then I put my own spice blend on them. Right. Then I put them in my rack You've and I smoked them for an hour and a half. So now right. I'm in it. I'm already in it two hours. Yep. Smoke them for an hour and a half. Then I got to bring them inside, which is messy because they're drippy. Then I gotta wrap them in foil. You gotta wrap them? Mm -hmm. Then I gotta put them in the oven. So yep. now I've used two appliances. Yep. They sit in the oven for another two and a half hours. Yep. I'm in it for five hours. And do you know when they're ready? You know what's the last thing I wanna eat? Ribs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're like, I'm I am done. so over it because I'm of the smoke. And all the work is done. Look at that color. You heat, 
and you eat. That's it. You know, and these are good on the barbecue, too. This means that we do the work for you. So Killer Grillers, you know, if you're not familiar, so again, Memphis, from Memphis, Tennessee, this is a competition barbecue team. You are getting all of their experience, all of that delicious special seasoning that they do. You're getting extra sauce. So when these come out, you will have extra sauce in the package so that you can take that extra sauce, how I have here. So let's come over to these guys, and you can extra sauce it up. So it's ready to go for you. After you've heated it up, you extra sauce it up, and you serve. I love that about right. this. Everything Tina, comes ready for you. Get out here. Yeah, I know you're a rib eater. Come on and out. Right. So I, I got you Don't one. Does that one look like a good one? one? Can you want to grab it That's with your favorite. hands? Yeah. I'll get you a towel too afterwards. All right, just Flavor go ahead. So good. Go ahead. <laughs> That's yeah. That's right. Good money. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a towel for you. I know you're gonna need one. She's working. I gotta make sure she stays wanna, clean. I'm trying we to... are, Rick, how many left in single ship? Here we go. 150 orders. 150 left in auto ship. Guys, 99 bucks. You've got, Seems you've got enough free. to serve six to eight to 10 people. It's crazy. Right? And you know what our customers love too, Carrie? Yeah. They show up frozen. Yes. So you just take out what you want. Look Pull one rack, one rack of ribs out. This is all, I'm pulling the meat from it. That yeah. was the meat just from the one side. So we're talking full meat. This is not, I've gotten ribs before where I've bought them ready-made and there's no meat. And then yeah. when you get in there, it's really, really, really chewy. Well, and it's because- I bought them from the store yeah. where they're not fully cooked. Oh, right. And it and says, then you, you buy them, them and then you read in the bottom line, it says, oh, by the way, put these in the oven at, at, th at 325 for another three hours. And you're like, what? Because they're par cooked. The hard part with ribs is that part is making them tender. Oh my gosh. If they tell you you need to do that, don't buy them. Yeah. I wouldn't buy any ribs in sauce in a plastic bag from the supermarket. First of all, you don't know where they come from. You don't know who made them. And not only that, the sauce is always ketchupy. It's never good. This Correct. sauce is, is not super sweet. Exactly. It's not sweet at all. It's I mean, it has some sweetness. It's a perfect blend. Yes. So, you know, that's what KG's is known for. So they got their special seasoning. So, you know, they're trimming the, first off, high quality meats, because with competition, you got to have the best cut of meat. So then they're trimming it for you to make sure everything's trimmed up just right. I can't stop eating it. Then they're going to do their special seasoning. Then it's going to hit the grill. And then we're oh talking God. minimum six hours, but up to 14 hours. And then they're going to take it off and they're going to put it to bed. <laughs> That's what it's called. Gets wrapped up and then letting it sit there and finish off that cooking I'm process. I'm just going to get a drink of water. That's so good. That flavor is embedded in there. And that's what you're tasting. And that's what I've never gotten from a store bought, you know, uh, uh, ready made rib. Oh. And very rarely, I mean, that's why we go to very specialty restaurants that we know do ribs, right? Wait, like, you know, ribs is like an experience, right? So, like, when you say, is rib night, it's like, oh, yeah, right. here we go. <clears throat> These are easily, they're better than mine. I will tell you, I do good ribs. Yeah. But with me, it's it's sourcing the pork. Like my ribs are better when I get a really good rack of pork. Understood. But it's hard to pick that out. Yep. Look at these Good racks. Look at these racks. Do you see the even thickness? That's mm -hmm. a big deal. It so you're not gonna deal. have big fatty chunks. Yep. And, Perfectly butchered. And when you get in these, I mean, I'm not. There's no fat happening in here whatsoever. So what you're getting is you're getting that excellent trim on on the ribs to begin with. But then it's that KG sauce. It's that special flavor. Getting that smoke ring getting that flavor embedded deeply. And that, again, has to do with that cooking process. So, you know, when Brian does competition, he has pr he's started practicing now. He's sending me pictures. They understand in this team how to get you the most high quality, best tasting, pull apart ribs that you can possibly get. So look how I'm just pulling that right off. I'm gonna pull this, and here, the bone just fell off of this one, and then the bone's coming right off of this one. But look at, again, this is all the meat that I just pulled off of one side of, so there's the bone, here's the meat. Check that out, that is a huge chunk of meat. Very minimal on the fat. You're getting really the best choice cuts, the best embedded flavor. I'm pulling one apart again, just so you can see. And just remember, it's about that smoke ring is telling you what's going on. If you wanna place this onto your grill, that is how we kind of recommend that you do it because that's gonna really just, br again, bring out and punch out that flavor. Only five minutes on each side, so flip it over to heat it up. But if you wanna do it in the oven, you completely can do that as well. So the thing that you wanna 
really look for on here is that choice cut of meat, again, that bark that we look for to get it to that perfection for you, and then that fall apart off the bone. So this is giving you three racks of ribs. I can't stress that enough because if you go out and just buy even a half rack of ribs anymore, they are super duper expensive. So being able to get three full racks, look at all this meat I'm pulling off. This is an incredible experience. When you wanna have rib night, you don't have to do any of the work. Let Brian Teeters do that for you. Competition style. You know you're gonna get the yummy, yummy, yummy stuff. All right, Carrie. Hi, guys. Hi, what darling. You doing? Thank you so much. We're outside now, having fun out. Look at this glorious day. Please excuse the shades, but I wouldn't be able to see you. I can barely see you anyway because it's so, so bright out here. But welcome to our second hour. So I had a long talk with Stephanie before the show because I went up to 